and I'll come back home. Before we go start today work with JavaScript frameworks like React, we're going to need to find where we'll be saying we'll feel they improve our code or we're going to write modern JavaScript code. We'll be saying it will help us to reduce all those algorithm wala and we're not going to do the find box for our code. So. so JavaScript out of the box, meaning say follow com, it gets some methods, we follow JavaScript com. We'll be say JavaScript they help us, they sort all those things. We'll be saying we're not going to write too much algorithm code. A lot of times, maybe say you're going to work with data self. Maybe say you're going to need to filter that data. Maybe say you're going to need to work with that data. Maybe say you're going to need to uh, arrange that data, they mutate the data to the display the data any high way you want to do them. You're going to need to work with higher order functions for here. So before I go carry talk, finish now, make me move enter the video. So before we start, if now your first time here for this channel, what will they do for here? Say, will they help you now they understand the web for Niger Pigeon? Yes, yeah, so will they use Niger Pigeon? So if you don't want to learn about tech for Niger Pigeon, I beg. We could not subscribe to our YouTube channel. And if you don't subscribe already, and they give me joy where they make all this kind of video every time. So we enter into the video soon. So for inside my VS code now, make I just quickly explain, give me now what's in the happen for inside this code where we get for here. So if you check for the index.html, which now where we start from, you can just say I just get this title for here, and I don't put anything for the body beside this uh, script. So this script now our JavaScript, if you write JavaScript for here, if you write them inside the script, but what they do be say I they make this script as a module. So then I'm waiting with the try to do for here. I want to say I want the import data and I want the export data. So then I want the import JavaScript. And I want to export JavaScript files, they move them around, and why I make them as a module for here. Okay, we want the door like this. Let's say if we check our JavaScript, we feel the import data come, or we feel the import another JavaScript file come. So then I'm waiting at the try and do for here. Then why I make them as a module. So if you check here, you can see say this data set, I just import them from this part, this directory, which now this data file will be get for here. All right, and we just the console log the result of this data with the inside here. So this data, what will it be? Where could we enter inside this data file? So if I enter inside this data file, you can see, say, I just they define a data set. I just call them data set. I feel call them monkey. I feel call them goat. It no matter. But what they do be say, I want to make this data set as an array. Make with the exporter. All right. So every JavaScript file, if you they draw this, but you're going to need to set up to module if you want the import them. All right. So if you open them, I say, make we look inside this data set. Move inspect them. You see, say, for inside this data set like this, you will see, say, I get so many data inside. So many data. If you check, 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 you see, say, all this data, they have plenty for here. So make I open up my dev tool. And you will see, say, for inside this dev tool, we get 55 items inside this data set for here. And the 55 items, now just job posts. So this job post, now job post will be saying, me, I don't get online from indeed.com. I be scraped that site. I can't get all this information. So I get all this array. And I don't do something with this array. So for here, because we know they use this one, I will use our own. Then why I just set them as a data set. So I could just um, close this site up. I don't tell them, I say, this is not job information. So every job post, suppose they get certain information, right? Suppose tell us the name of the company when one give us the job or the name of the, if you give, give us the job description, if you give us the, you know, uh, if now full time or not if you tell us where the job day if you give us even the salary we would expect and if you check our uh, our data with they here you can see say some of these data here they only get job they only get salary then are some of them they only post the salary for us and some of them they lay Lagos but they only post the salary okay so how we go take the work with all this information so for my VS code I could just press control P and this will help me select all the files with they inside my project so okay or projects where I don't open before so I could just come here into the script uh, file uh, .js and what we want to do for inside here, say now here we're going to write all our JavaScript. And if you check here, you can see say uh, our I don't already explained given us say a higher order function a function would say it accept another function as an argument. And then in some cases it they return a function. But you get some we follow uh, JavaScript com and then at this ones the map the filter. They reduce and I should say get some other ones way I know even describe for now but I feel drop link for the description for now we're gonna read more about that kind of thing but for now this is not the main future ones the main ones where say me are the ways they use most of the time for when I work with uh, react and all those kind of things so you could just come here and uh, um, for here you can see say we they pass in a function into this uh, our map method for here and this function with the pass for here it they collect certain parameters so normally this function or this uh, map method what did they help us to do well the map method it help us they check something it they help us they return a copy of our array it they help us they check say this array this item now really array if now array okay then it will begin the work for us but if not be array if you go down on top string or you go down on top number you know go work for you so just make sure say whenever you want to use the map the filter the reduce say now arrays you they work on that's why i name them array 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 for this example here 
And you will also notice, say, for inside this, our map method, you will they get this function where they give us the current values. So whatever the current value be, where the map they check, the, that the current value inside or the element where they pick for inside that um, data where they work with, it they help us to check them. And it even they give us the index of that value. And then if you do anything we want for inside here, inside our um, block for here. And if you check them, you see, say, I thought you say method where they carry a function or function where they collect a function as an argument. So we they pass in just this one function like this. So if you use this syntax, write a full function inside here. And if you use even uh, another syntax, if you use the ES6 uh, fatal function, we say if you write a fatal function and it will give us the results for here. And also if you just call in any function they put inside here. So all of them, there'll be valid syntax. And if you do like the syntax, I don't know if explain given a syntax, not the way maybe they write our code, the way they write your English, the way they write your French, the way they write your Yoruba, not the way they write. But for this case, now JavaScript, they write. So what you want to do for here, we say, hey, can you use this one? And we want we will say, if you check all the salaries for here, I'm going to take two. We won't check all the salaries, but we won't come only salary. We we'll say the salary, you know, they equals to no. What you want? I want to use the filter method. So I'm going to filter all the things for here. I'm going to filter this information where we get for here. The filter method, they help us they do certain things. They help us they test the condition. If a condition they true or if a condition they false. So I'm going to take work with this function. So for inside this real world example, we won't use, we got to say, we won't filter all this data, right? We won't filter all the salaries and if the salary no deal, no show us. If not, no, no show us. Or else if the salary gets salary for here, which is a number, type number, then it will return that value give us. The first way we need to be say, we won't call the data set. Then I won't call this data, which are just an array, right? So this data set, uh, now the same thing as just saying you want this bracket for here. So if you just say bracket dot, I go see say, but because I don't close them. So if I say dot, you say JavaScript, they give us the other methods where they, our JavaScript, JavaScript, they give us the flats, they give us the um, filter entries, copy within all those things. Now within JavaScript. So now the same thing we try to do for here. All right. So for inside the data set, we we'll just say dot. And after this dot, we want to do the filter, right? So we want the array dot filter, which are in this case, we want the data set dot filter. And then we want passing our function into them, right? So we could just use our ES6 fat arrow function and then we could just call each element for inside here, which could be the current value. Instead of calling that current value all the time, we could just call an element for here, for this case. So we just say, we have a fat arrow function now. And this fat arrow function, it gets a, a current value as element. Now, this element where they here, we want to do something with them, right? And we say each element, then now this one, two, three, all these ones now elements. So we want to do something with them. So then I'm waiting to go there here. So we want to say, okay, this element, we want to take elements, but only the elements, we we'll say the dot salary is you not know, the equals to no. And because the salary you no know, go day equals to no, for just this one line of code, it go return every report. We say in salary you no know, day equals to one. So we could see. So to to the way we go see this result, make I just close them here. The way we go see you could just assign them to a variable. So we go say const has salary, and we could just assign them to that value for there. So if I press save now, we could check, and then we could just console log this value for here. So I could just say console log, and I could just say has salary. Now, if you check out, you will see, say, we get our old array, which now this one where they line two, and then we get this new one where they line 14. All right, so this console log statement where they did this line 14. Now, only 17 items, nine get salary. So if you check there, you can see, say, salary, 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 salary. All of them, they get salary. So if you open the first one, you see salary. You close them, make we open that number 10 again. You see, this number 10, that different number 10, and it gets salary of 200K. So you just see, say, now with just the simple array method, we don't need to write algorithm and to figure out where to put this, where to put that. JavaScript don't help us arrange these things. Now, it gets some cases where you need to work more information into them. But with this simple basic concept, you go for use uh, to they add different things where you want. If you use that, they do anything where you want with your JavaScript. If you manipulate data, they do anything where you want with your JavaScript list. Okay. So, What's the game we would like to do? Well, map method. What's the map method they help us do? Well, they have map method. They help us they map through something. They help us they create a new copy of what we get. And then when you create a new copy of the array where we get already, it helps us they call a function on top of that array or on top of that each element where they inside that array. So you're going to call a function on top of this one, call a function on top of this one, you call a function on top of number two, you can call a function on top of number three, you can call a function on top. And again, if it's empty, the map method no go call that function and always remember say the map method is they create a copy we won't use this one we won't use this has salary this value whatever value where we don't get for here so when we say has value i remember i said this one they give us an array so we just say dot map 
And this map for here, we will just pass in our callback function. Now, this function, if they're taking two parameters, all right, or if they're taking three parameters, yes, but we they normally use two parameters or just the first parameter. The first parameter, now the most important parameter, every time when you call this filter, the first parameter is they required, is they important. If you don't put them, the code no will work, all right? So we'll just say element. I just call an element, you call them anything you want. And then for inside this um, function, as we don't get the current element, what you want to be say, one can work with that data. So I will want to return a string. So I could just use um, backticks for here so that we feel they manipulate the string anytime. So I could just say backtick and then I could just do the usual dollar sign, call it brace to the pack our JavaScript variable. Now, no, we don't know what's in this thing. We go check out the, the JavaScript playlist for our video and then you will see all uh, what's in these backticks and waiting at the try to for here. So what you want to be say, uh, we could just say elements. Then uh, this element where they here. No, but this one where they here. In fact, make I will change myself to item. <laughs> so we just say item item all right so this item when they here now anything we call them for here now it will be if i call them goods i don't tell them now it will be here for goods all right so i could just say for inside this template string i want to say item dot company and this will definitely give us the name of the company all right so this will make me check this our array so it will give us this company now for example and then once say okay now this item dot company won't put space and then we could just add uh, our dollar sign curly brace and we just say item dot salary so now this will give us the salary of each item in the array but instead of say we just want only the salary say per month per month per month what if say we could like say did they give us salary like per year so of course one year and 12 months we could say this salary per month times 12. and if we don't like this this is supposed to give us the mathematic calculation remember say we write javascript for year so if you write calculation for year so it will give us the calculation of the total salary per year by each company so we could just add some strings Make we just console log this value so i could just assign this hard salary this new map method to something new so what we could just say let me assign them to cons per year and just equals to so just console log the value for here and if you press it for there you can see now we get 17 items just like the last time but this time we get a string and if you check out here you can see it give us you know this company they give us this total amount of money k per year if you put anything you want if I put this green emoji for there, you can say give this emoji to everything will be there here. So if you say 300k per year, this company too pays what um, this much per year, this one pays per year, this one pays. So all the jobs where they here, they, they pay this much per year. So then how if we get all that calculation now? So remember, now within the map they do. And the map, you know, they affect the first one. So if I say make I console log this value for here, it goes to give us the same, you know, go change the array, it will give us the first value, which is line 13 for here, then now this one, and line 18, now now this one for here. It they always give us those values where we need. So make I just come on them out. So what's it again we would like to? Remember, say all this data we did here, all of them they get cities, they get location. Sorry, they get location. So if you check here, you can see say, this one, they Lagos. If you check this one, you can see say, this one, they Lagos. We can see if they get any other one. I don't know why now. So, so Lagos for here. I have get Sokoto for here. So make we come inside our JavaScript. Make we try and use the same methods where we don't already work with that and this one and this um that and this filter and this map. Make we try and use the same method. Make we try and create another thing. So what do we want to say? I make I just add some comments for here so that we're not going to get confused. What you want to do here? We say, we can put the comments. So show one way we say we go feed show the jobs where your salary where they pass five hundred k and it is Lagos. Okay, so we want to write this kind of things. We say we go filter out all these jobs where they here and the job must make up to five hundred k and again it must be inside Lagos state. So I'm go take down. Now if you pause the video, try do this kind of thing. Just challenge yourself small. But if not, if you follow along. So the first thing we would like to be say we want the data set, right? We want the first data set. Then this one for here. We want this data. I want to carry this data and do something. All right. So what we we'll do for here, we say we we'll say data set. And then we we'll go call dot filter. And this filter, what we want to do for inside here, we want to chain our operations when we could work with. So we we'll go first say we want the job from this data. So if job, like if I tell you say if you call them anything we want, so we we'll say we make we filter the jobs. But let me filter the jobs. We we'll say the jobs or job dot salary. Uh, if the salary you know the equals to no, and if the job dot salary, we could also check if the salary day um, greater than or equals to five hundred k, 
And if you don't like that, like we say, we also want to check whether this job says if it is highly goes. So go fit chain another one. So if you just say and, all right, so it seems to be the use, they write three different statements for inside just one expression because they write them for just one line of code. Instead of writing algorithm and if statements and all those kinds of things, we could just write them for here. So we're going to say jobs, a uh, job, sorry, dot location. I want to check the location. I'm going to say if this location, if it is equals to, and we we'll just put a string and say Lagos. Now, if you notice here, I put double equals to, so we could put triple equals to. So go fit check, say, in a string we they get. We go fit check the type where we define, all right? So if you press save for them, and now this will help us filter this data where we define. So we could just assign them to something, make me console logam. So make me first assign them to uh, a variable. I purpose to give them this long name so that we go fit see, say, now waiting with it too. So we get these Lagos jobs with high salaries, all right? And now, if you check out, so make me console logam. So we say console.log, Lagos jobs with salaries with high salaries and if we check out we go see say we only get six jobs we get high salaries for here all right is that also so as you get this whole thing for here now what's in again we can even so make we just return only the salaries with the map method so if you just come here i'm going to chain up so remember say i did inside i did outside the filter method i know the inside the filter method i did outside the filter method and now here we want to chain the map method so i'm just going to say dot because now really they work with the same map. And this is now called chaining. So they use the dot notation to so change something. So we just say dot i. I tell you say if you name up anything we want. And we say i, then are anything we want. So we say i for the item. And we'll say that particular item we're doing, we could just return the dot salary. So we'll say salary. And now if you check, you can see say we get all the salaries for here. And we could just scroll down to make we comment this out. So make we first see, in order for us to understand the reduce method, make we first see a simple example. So instead of all this one, two, three, four, five, when we get all this big, big number right there, make we use simple one, two, three number. So what I want to say, I could just create a variable, call them let, and I could just call them um, norms. And these norms, you could just assign them to an array. And this array, what you want to do for inside this array, we say we just want to add some numbers. So we could just say one, two, three, and uh, we could just put comma beside them. All right. So this is not comma, this is not just typical array. And we could even put zero itself for there, just so that we feel work with that variable. And then make we use the reduce method on top of them. So make we say norms dot reduce, reduce, and then we could just pass in the parameters. And this is our function, this callback function. What did they expect now? The accumulated value. So I know say I feel call them accumulated value, like most people or Ibo, they always call them, but make we just call them total value. All right. And now this reduce method, it is taking which they this now the two, it, it requires two parameters, which now the total and the current value. So we could just say current value. All right. So this total and current value nine we won't work with, right? And now for inside here, make we just say what we want to do with them. Of course, we won't just do total plus current value and if you don't like this you can see say we get this code where we work with so make we try console logam to the value and um, make we try console logam so first make we assign them to a variable so we can say const and make we call this variable total salaries and then this total salaries we could just assign them to this one right here so now make we console logam so we say clg or console log and we could just console log total salaries now if we if we check you can see say our total salary for here now six that are because we they work with this array, that are this array for you. So if you add this one plus two, it will give us three. And if you add this three plus zero, we go exclude the it go exclude this zero, right? So you're not gonna work with this zero and it will just give us three. So three plus three, that are this three, if you come up down, it will give us six. So then I'm waiting the reduce the help us to do. It will grab all the values inside the array, all the numbers or the salary, and then it they run a calculation on top of them. All right. So just like that, very easily we feed them. So make we just fix this code, make we say we want to use them to the really work with our previous salary with now this Lagos jobs with salary. So for for all the jobs with the Lagos, we get salary, we could just say Lagos jobs with salary, and we know they use this one anymore. Press save, and you can see say all the salaries. So for all the jobs with they here, meaning say if you when you say if you add all these numbers with here, if you add this uh, this salary, this salary, this salary, so all these ones for all this array, you will come get this particular value for here. So before we go, before we go, we can just show you one other very interesting one. So what if say we get this list of jobs here, and you want to get, let's say, you want to get the first, uh, the first three jobs, like the top three from zero to this one. How you go take one? Well, already if you just say you want to do um, data sets. And if you just say you want to do data set item one, and then you could just log them into the console, you know, if you just done like that, what do you want to say? One call the dot splice 
method and that does splice which in this one they take now the starting value or the starting index of the of the element for inside the array so we won't start from the element zero and then won't get the value up to number three so if we save her like this now and we say we won't log this one out so make can assign out a variable so we we'll say and we could just call them top jobs top jobs and we could just assign them to here so make we just console on top jobs and if we save them we will see say we get these top jobs for here and we get all the first three top jobs so just like that we don't filter our elements for the array so if we put them say we want only 10 it will give us the 10 the first 10 um, variables the first 10 items inside the list it will give us even if we say we want only just three from our other arrays it will still give us just three from our other arrays so that's how you feel they work with data and all this kind high order functions in javascript but for now that's all we need to learn i'll see you now for the next video thank you